Peggy 12. Hi, this is Tim Schwalk, producer on Heroes of Ruin at In Space, and today we're going to focus on multiplayer gameplay and the gunslinger. So here I am as a gunslinger in the frost reaches in the second half of the game. At this point, the goblins have some information that I really need, but before they'll help me, the goblin chieftain's requiring me to help them with a few of their experiments. Ah, yes. The gunslinger is the most mobile of our characters. He's a great ranged character who does decent damage, and he's very good at weakening enemies with debuffs, putting negative effects on them. While he has more health than the architect, he can become more easily overwhelmed by a group of enemies. He deals more direct damage to single enemies, making these glacier golems easy pickings. Here I'm using a mix of my default charge attack, my powerful bullet storm ability, and bullet barrage, which allows me to strafe as I fire. He's strong enough to play alone, but he's fantastic paired with other characters. For instance, the Gunslinger has some great moves that stun enemies, and the Vindicator has some moves that take advantage of that, dealing automatic critical hits on stun enemies as one example. I don't have the energy. Here I'm using the armor piercing buff, which allows me to fire through enemies, dealing damage to those behind them. Here you can see how our seamless multiplayer experience works. As a host, you'll get a notification when someone joins or leaves your game, and at that point, the difficulty of the level will adjust itself on the fly. Up to three others can join my game, either locally or over Wi-Fi, and these can be either friends or strangers. You can voice chat with friends over Wi-Fi, and you can even talk to non-friended players, if your system's parental control settings allow for it. Once we clear out these enemies, we're going to face the giant ghoul Iron Fist. He shouldn't present too much of a challenge for us. Here's an example of a simple strategy you can use when you combine a ranged character with a melee character. The Savage can keep enemies at bay with his strong melee attacks while the Gunslinger fires at them from a safe distance. There are, of course, more in-depth strategies where specific powers are concerned, but this is a tried and true way to combine forces. At this point, the Goblin Chieftain and his scientists are going to bring together all of the knowledge we've helped them gather through the experiments, and they're going to try and create their very own hero. As with all battles in the game, this one actually becomes more difficult as additional players join the fray. Of course, with additional allies, you open yourself up to all sorts of strategic advantages. Unfortunately, something goes terribly wrong, and we're left to clean up the mess. The Goblin Colossus attacks actually resemble some of the experiments you help the Goblin Scientist complete. The Goblin Colossus also becomes more dangerous as he nears death. He has a desperation buff that boosts his damage potential when he's low on health. One cool thing to note is that all buffs are shared between party members at certain distances when they're at their max level. Another cool thing is that you can earn benefits by playing with your friends. Heroes of Ruin is a lot of fun when playing alone, but the full potential of the title is unlocked when you join the quest to cure Ataraxis with other gamers. Watch for Heroes of Ruin, coming soon exclusively to the Nintendo 3DS.